<laughs> hey, what's up, yo? It's Vonnie Hudson with FixedByVonnie.com, and today we're looking at Windows 10, specifically trying to understand Microsoft's rationale for leapfrogging over version 9. And in order to do that, we're going to go back, way back, way, 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 way back into the early 90s when Windows 3.11 was first released. Then I'll offer my five reasons why I think Microsoft skipped over version 9. Let's go. Now, I remember the first time I saw Windows 10. And my first thought, my initial thought was, did I somehow miss version 9? Was Windows 8.2 released as version 9? What happened to version 9? You know, there were so many questions. And I think in order for us to try to understand what Microsoft was doing, we need to go back to the early days. So let's look at Windows 3.11. This, my friend, is Windows 3.11. Do you remember this? Here's the program manager, and we have all of our applications inside. Looks like I'm rocking Microsoft Q Basic. Um, I have a couple of the main applications, MS-DOS, something called the Creative Mixer. What the heck is that? <laughs> oh, it looks like something for a Game Boy. Uh, great. Anyway, this was Windows 3.11, and it was a huge success. You know, the early 90s, right? This is when Millie Vanilli was found out. We discovered they were lip syncing all of their songs. This is when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the big thing. The Godfather Part 3, I mean, was crushing it in the box office. And Vanilla Ice with Ice Ice Baby ripping his bass line from Queen was all the rage and everybody was rhapsodizing about him. You know, this is what we were going through. It was a great time to be alive in the 90s. And it's also when Windows 3.11 came out. But what was the next version of Windows called? Was it Windows 3.12? Nope. I mean, do you remember this? <laughs> I know I do. And so Windows 95 boots up, and the first thing we're greeted with is a login prompt. And I love the authentication. I love the security of Windows 95, because if you don't know the administrator password, you just click cancel. Voila. Windows lets you right in. <laughs> Microsoft has come a long way. Uh, but here we got, uh, you know, we have Windows 95, and uh, this was the um, second version of Windows. Now. The next version of Windows was Windows 98, and it came out in 1998. Second edition came out in 1999. Of course, you had the same thing. You could bypass the login screen by clicking OK. And then eventually, the operating system would load. As you can see, it's tortuously slow. I don't even know if that's a real word, but I'm coining that phrase right now. Uh, it looks like my computer is not loading, and I might just get the blue screen of death. So we'll move on from Windows 98. And after Windows 98, what did the world see? The world saw Windows 2000, right? So you didn't go from 98 to 99. We went from 98 to 2000. And then after 2000, did we go to 2001? No. The next version of Windows was something entirely different. Let's track the uh, history of Windows. So you have Windows 311, Windows 95, 98, Oh, don't forget about NT. I almost forgot about Windows NT. Windows NT was the thing. Windows 2000. Then we had Windows ME, Windows XP, Windows Vista, 7, 8, 8.1, and 10. So you probably remember the others very well. Let's look at Windows XP real quick. Don't you just want to roll down that verdant hill? Don't you just want to look at the sky? It's so cerulean. It's so blissful. I guess that's why this wallpaper is called bliss, uh, which is kind of interesting. Yes, bliss. So, you know, this is what we call Teletubby land. Um, you know, I loved XP. It was great. But it was a version that was outside the normal numbering scheme. Then, of course, we had Windows 7. You know, who can forget Windows 7? It still has the majority of the market share when it comes to desktop operating systems. According to uh, Netcraft, it's about 58% desktop market share. So Windows 7 is still extremely popular. And who can forget Windows 10, right? I mean, that's what we have in Windows 10. You know, the beautiful desktop, uh, File Explorer. You know, we've got the Start menu. We've got, uh, you know, the Command Prompt. Everything is just lovely in this version of Windows. So my point is that Microsoft has had a habit of skipping over versions. And by the way, the version number isn't really the real version number. Let me tell you what I mean. 
If I go here and I type ver, you see it says version 10.0.10565. If I go to Windows 7 and I type the same thing, it says version 6.1.7601. What's the deal? It's kind of weird, isn't it? You know, Windows 10, uh, sorry, not Windows 10, Windows 2000, 5.0. I thought it was Windows 2000, I thought that was the version. It turns out that Microsoft has an elaborate numbering scheme that it uses internally. So if you go to Microsoft's website, uh, this uh, address here, you can look at all the different operating systems and their actual version numbers. Version 10 is 10, version 8.1 is actually 6.3, Windows 2012 is 6.3, Windows 8 is 6.2, so on and so forth. This, is going, this has been going on ever since Windows 2000. So Microsoft has a pattern of not following the numbering scheme sequentially. So we shouldn't be too alarmed by what happened in Windows. So what are some reasons why Microsoft might have skipped over version 9? Now there are a couple possibilities. The first is that 7, 8, 9. Seven, eight, nine. I know it's cheesy, but it's funny, especially if it's the first time you've heard it. Actually, uh, this didn't originate with me. There was um, a fellow by the name of uh, Daniel Hardcastle. <laughs> I don't know if that's his, last, his real last name or not, but he's the one who first came up with the joke. Anyway, that's one possibility. It's probably not likely, right? Because we know that seven doesn't eat anything. Um, so the second possibility is that Microsoft didn't want to offend the Japanese. So my understanding is that the Japanese word for nine is ku. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. If you're Japanese or you know Japanese and you know how to speak it well, you can correct me in the comments. Anyway. The word is ku, as I understand it, and it means, means something along the lines of death or agony. And since Microsoft has a large presence in Japan, it didn't want to offend the Japanese population there and therefore bruise its market share in that region of the world. And so it decided to skip over nine for that reason. Possible? Yes. Um, another possibility is that Microsoft was creating an elaborate workaround for a code glitch. So if you go back to a Reddit article uh, that was posted um, a while ago, about a year ago, there's someone who is purportedly a Microsoft software developer. And he says here, Microsoft dev here, the internal rumors are that early testing revealed just how many third-party products that had code of the form. And then he gives this interesting pseudocode pseudo -code snippet. And you don't have to know code to, to, to understand this. You can see here that this code is basically saying, hey, if the version starts with Windows 9, then do something. And so if it's only checking for the first digit, that would also include version 95 and 98. And therefore, it might break backwards compatibility. Or the application might think that it's running in an older version of Windows, and really it's running in a new version. So that could cause some problems. I don't know if this is true or not. It's just a theory. Um, another possibility is that Windows 10 is just the number 10. Most people associate that with perfection. Um, another possibility is that Microsoft was trying to distance itself from Windows 8. Everyone knows that Windows 8 was a cataclysmic failure. Hashtag fell to the max. It sucked. Okay. And by skipping over 9, Microsoft is distancing our distancing the customer base from version 8 and telling us, hey, don't worry about that, forget about that, forget about the past, 10 is here. It's all about 10, right? Perfect 10, perfect score. Uh, and one other possibility is that Microsoft is simply trying to benefit off of Apple's success, right? So the Mac OS X operating system has been X10 for about 14 years, to my understanding. And so maybe Microsoft was saying, hey, you know, we're gonna jump right to 10, match the pace with Mac OS X. <laughs> I just realized it sounds like I'm saying Mac sex. I'm not saying that. Mac OS X. Uh, and that could have been a, a, a creative a marketing uh, scheme by Microsoft. Anyway, I don't know. What I do know is that if you like this video, thumb it up or thumb it down. Thumb it some way. Leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Go to my blog. Don't just sit here and watch the next video, all right? 
So my name is Vani with fixbyvani.com, and I hope you enjoy this one.